Producing over 500 hours per week of talk radio, GCN Live is a world leader in talk radio. Archives for the following program can be found at GCNlive.com. Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue that is why we are here every day on the bright side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy i've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity skin diseases like psoriasis eczema rosacea acne digestive ailments autoimmune issues of all kinds recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you, 844-236-6010 is our number. And likewise, if you have a success story or if you just wanna to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you wanna purchase any of the longevity products you hear recommended on the program or advertised on the program, please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. You can also head over to brightsideben.com or also my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren for setting those up. You can also search benfuchsarchives.com. And if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made with 25% vitamin C, premium vitamin C, no preservative, no preservative, no fragrance, no wax, no filler, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Everything in Truth Treatment Products, all the ingredients in Truth Treatment Products are 100% act, active and functional. They're going to do something for your skin. All right. We're talking hormone health, especially when it comes to fats. And this is really especially, uh, especially true when it comes to reproductive hormones and stress hormones, which require good fats in the diet and good fat digestion. This whole idea of absorption and bioavailability, as it is called, is so, so, so important in this world of supplement and supplement information. A lot of us think we just take a supplement and we're good to go. Well, it doesn't work that way because you got to absorb the supplement. And the same is true with nutrients and foods. You've got to absorb the nutrients and foods. This is, a, this is kind of a missing link when it comes to how the kind of benefits we get or don't get from our nutritional supplements and from our diet. The missing link of bioavailability. The stuff has to be available to the biology. It has to be absorbable, digestible. We have to be able to utilize it out of the digestive system. And this is especially true when it comes to hormone health and it is especially true when it comes to reproductive hormones and stress hormones and fertility hormones. And it's extra especially true for women, especially as they get older. Because women, as they get older, will have problems absorbing fats. There's a very important relationship between estrogen and fatty hormones and bile, which is our main fat absorption substance in the body. It doesn't get anywhere near the, the credit it deserves. I consider it to be one of the three great fluids in the body in addition to uh, the blood and the lymph. In addition to the blood and the lymph, bile is one of the three great biological fluids in the body. And it doesn't get anywhere near enough cred, especially when it comes to heart disease or diabetes or autoimmune disease or estrogen issues or reproductive issues, especially as women get older. 
stress, growth, repair hormones, we call them the steroid hormones. And by the way, as we said yesterday, this is important, they're all versions of cholesterol. And that's why you don't want to take a statin drug if you care about your health. I did a uh, video, if you guys want to check out a cool video, go to criticalhealthnews.com. We did a video on cholesterol. I didn't cover it as extensively, as extensively as I would have liked to. One of the things I forgot to mention is coenzyme Q10 deficiency is likely to occur if you suppress cholesterol manufacturing, cholesterol production with a statin drug. Coenzyme Q10 is a stupendously, stupendously helpful supplement, nutrient. The body can make it from the same biological pathway that makes cholesterol. And if you suppress cholesterol production, you're going to suppress coenzyme Q10 production. Coenzyme Q10 may be the single most powerful cardiovascular supplement non-essential nutrient cardiovascular supplement there is. Vitamin C, vitamin E, magnesium, these are all essential nutrients and they're super important for the heart. But as far as non-essential nutrients, I can't think of one that would be more important than coenzyme Q10. And guess what happens when you take a statin drug for your heart, ironically? You suppress your heart's most protective non-essential nutrient. This is emblematic, symbolic, iconic of the utter intellectual biochemical ignorance of the medical model, of the pharmacomedical model. So you got to process fats correctly when it comes to anti-aging, longevity, fighting cancer, preventing Alzheimer's disease, eye disease, neurological disease. I just read an article here from JAMA. Uh, where the heck did I put it? On uh, uh, carotenoids. Carotenoids are the pigments that are found in your eyes, in algae, and in plants. They're yellow and they're red. They're very important for eye health. They're fatty. If you don't absorb your fats, you're not going to get the benefits of your carotenoids and your pigments from your squash and from your carrots and from your tomatoes and from your fish, or, uh, from any foods that contain these stuff, from your plankton and algae if you're using the, the Fucoid Z. So you've got to focus on fat absorption as much as we focus on supplements. We've got to focus on digestive and absorption issues as much as we focus on supplements. We talk about the digestive system all the time as it regards leaky gut syndrome and stuff getting into the blood through the digestive system, but we don't really talk about the absorption aspect of the intestine and the stomach for that matter and the pancreas and the liver, all which are involved in how well the body will utilize fatty nutrients and other nutrients. So probiotics, really important, super important for fat metabolism. You don't hear that very much, except on this program we talk about it periodically. Probiotics, very important for women dealing with menstrual cramp issues or uh, uh, menopausal issues, hot flashes. Digestive enzymes, certainly bile salts, which are a component of the digestive, the ultimate enzymes from longevity. Betaine, HCL, apple cider vinegar. You'll get these in the digestive enzymes, not the apple cider vinegar, but you'll get bile salts and betaine in the ultimate enzymes. Use some apple cider vinegar with your ultimate enzymes. Lecithin, stupendously, stupendously valuable supplement for a lot of things, for the liver, for the brain, for memory, for Alzheimer's, and it is a component of bile. So if you had a gallbladder removed, you have any kind of liver issue, any kind of bile compromise, lecithin can be one of your best nutritional friends. Eggs, by the way, are a great source of lecithin. Choline, wonderful, wonderful B vitamin-like substance, not really a B vitamin. They say B vitamin-like. Choline, very important. It's actually a component of lecithin and a component of bile. Choline is a, a non, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it, it's essential as a nutrient. I think actually it did get called essential about 10 years ago or so. In any case, it's important. These are all prerequisites for keeping wrinkles at bay, for keeping your skin youthful, for keeping your bones strong, for keeping your adrenal glands healthy, for keeping your liver healthy. All of these supplements, bile salts, lecithin, choline, digestive enzymes, probiotics. If you belch or you feel discomfort after you eat fatty foods, if you have gallstones, or if, God forbid, you had your gallbladder taken out, you got to take extra care with these fat supplements and fatty foods and do everything you can do to improve fat processing. You can grind your fats up, by the way. That will help. You can chew really well. You have digestive enzymes that break down fats in your mouth, in your saliva. So just contacting your fatty foods, your... Uh, your french fries or potato chips or fish or whatever it is that you're eating that's a fatty food, contacting it more with saliva will help improve digestion. Can be a very, that can be a very helpful suggestion for folks dealing with a gallbladder problem. And, of course, you're going to be missing, if you don't take care, not just essential fatty acids, 
not just fats, but also fatty vitamins, D, E, A, and K, which means if you had a gallbladder removed or you have a liver problem or you're menopausal, you better be extra careful you're getting enough of these supplements, these essential vitamins. All right, we'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNlive.com today. back on the bright side. Thank you for being here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. And you can purchase products right off the website as well, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com and criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites as well. Okay, so we're talking about fats, Fat absorption, the fatty vitamins are going to be extra important if you have any, any kind of fat malabsorption issue, which is common. Intestinal issues, Crohn's disease, celiac disease. I would venture to say if you factor in the liver and the intestines and the lymph, don't forget about the lymph. The lymph is super important for helping the body process fats. The lymph is especially problematic because it processes fats and toxins together. So if you're toxic, the chances of you having issues with fat absorption increase. So between all of these issues, toxicity, liver problems, intestinal problems, gallbladders being removed, gallbladder issues, etc., I would venture to say issues with fats, uh, fat deficiencies, especially in the fatty vitamins, is a significant big time health issue and a real big, a real major cause and understated and underappreciated cause of our epic biblical health crisis that we have in this country and around the world. So anyway, vitamins D, E, A, and K, the best place to get your D is the sun, absolutely, positively. It's a way better quality vitamin D in terms of how the body processes it and uses it. Food is the next best source. Supplements are not, they're the least effective, least best source, if you will. So if you have to supplement, if you can't get out in the sun, there's not enough sun, or you can't eat fish, or you're a vegan, fish is really a good source, or meat, vitamin D is an animal, uh, animal vitamins. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, you're not out in the sun, then you're going to have to supplement. But the best source of vitamin D is going to be the sun. Vitamin E, another very underappreciated vitamin, it's your protector vitamin. We'll talk about vitamin E here, probably uh, uh, Monday or on our next, our, our next Bright Side episode, we'll talk about vitamin E and how it is our protector. Vitamin E is important for protecting the outside part of a cell, the cell membrane. Man, if you want to get into the amazingness, the sheer miraculousness of what biology is, just ponder on the cell membrane, which is it's thousands of times smaller than a, a no, thinner than a notebook, piece of notebook paper, thousands of times. And somehow or another, this membrane is like an information processor. It's like a little computer chip. This cell membrane is what contr controls the messaging and controls, the, because it controls the messaging of everything that, that gets inside a cell, it controls the production of everything in the cell, and that includes the genetics, the membrane, the outside part of a cell. And all it is is a sliver, thousands of times, uh, a sliver of oil, thousands of times uh, thinner than a piece of notebook paper. And it's largely composed of essential fatty acids the kind we have to get in our diet, the kind we don't get in our diet. Another very underappreciated aspect of ill health. By the way, your hormones can't work if the cell membrane is defective. The hormones can't get through. The hormones can't bind to the outside part of the membrane or can't get through. So you can take all the hormone therapy you want, but if you got a fat malabsorption issue, if you're not absorbing or getting fats, guess what? you're running higher risks of toxicity from that HRT. This is why HRT, periodically, you'll hear studies about how it's associated with cardiovascular disease and cancer. It's even on the, uh, on the commercial for Premarin. May cause cancer. Of course it may cause cancer. If you just take hormones, but you don't have the ability to process the hormones, to use the hormones at the cell level, the hormones are going to not only not work, they could be toxic as well in the case of estrogen and others because they're so potent. This is the silliness of our medical model. 
Now, why doesn't the medical model tell us about the cell membrane, or the cell for that matter? You know why? Because it can't do anything to the cell except yank it out or poison it. That's all the medical model can do to the cell. It can poison it, it can yank it out, 